Okay, so here we have some chicken. I'm using thighs, but you can use any piece, leg, thighs, breast, any piece that you want, you can use it. So we have some chicken. Then here we have the seasonings. We have uh, three cubes, big cubes of the stock cubes. But if you're using the small stock cubes, you can use around five. Five cubes should be enough. Then we have a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. We have half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and two teaspoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of oil, three tablespoons of tomatoes puree. Then we have three onions chopped into small pieces. We've used six potatoes peeled and also cut into these uh, sizes. Then we use two carrots and cut them into small pieces. Then we'll be using a wooden spoon. Okay, so first things first, we put the fire on high heat. Then we're going to put the oil in. Like so. And then we're going to fry the onions. So we're going to fry them so that they have a brown and golden color. going to add the chicken then now what we're going to do we're going to add the water like a liter So now we're just going to let the chicken cook with the onions for let's say 10 minutes because chicken doesn't need that much time to cook since we've already fried it with some of the onions. So you just cover it and leave it to cook. Okay, we check on the chicken. We don't want it cooked all the way because we want it to cook with the rest of the vegetables as well. So now what we do, we add in the tomato puree. And just mix it in. Then now we're going to add the vegetables. Put them in. Now you can use other vegetables as well like runner beans or sweet corn or peas. Different types of vegetables but I'm just going to do the basics. And what we do, we cover it again and let that cook before we add the spices. Okay, so now I want to check up on it. As you can see, most of the water is almost going. You can see. So we don't want it to burn and the potatoes are not cooked yet. So we just add in around two cups of water. Like so. Then we're going to add in the seasoning, the stock cubes. Then now you just, you don't have to put any order, you just put them all in at the same time. Make sure you get them all in. it in a little bit now this time we cover it and we let it cook for let's say 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes just to let the seasoning all mix in and also to let the water go down 
so that the potatoes also get cooked. Okay, so time should be up. So as you can see, most of the water have gone. So we just reduce the heat. You want it on a medium heat. So just mix it so that it doesn't burn. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just taste it to see what it tastes like. Yep, the salt levels are good, seasoning levels are good, so we don't need to add any salt or anything to it. So it should be ready now. Also, I wanted to let you know that some people, they like to put in cardamom seeds and they also like to put in cinnamon sticks, but I don't like the flavor of those, so that's why I've decided not to put them in. So the dhamma should be ready. It's time to plate up. <laughs> 